Hey, it's Brandy. Today I'm doing my first cooking video. It's chicken Diablo tacos and my homemade pico. So I hope you enjoy it. But first I got to get a fire going because it is pretty cold out here and a little windy. dry wood so hopefully it'll last long enough until I'm done cooking cooking all the food Tater's guarding the kitchen the truck kitchen right now she's like there's food I'm hanging out all right I'm gonna get started on the peak get started on the pico first all right I'm gonna start on my pico that I've been making for a really long time and let's get going on that. I'll turn the camera so you can get a better view. Whoop, right there. I think, I think that'll do it. All right, first you need, I'm gonna add, I'm not adding this to my pico. This is gonna be on the side, the avocado. I got tomato, lime, onion, and cilantro. I usually add jalapenos, but this is a really, really hot, spicy recipe so I'm not gonna add any extra spice to my pico because that's gonna cool it down so let's get started on that all right I think I think I got everything in this camera there I'll give you another shot of it here all right let's get going all right I'm gonna start with the onion first go ahead and get rid of the little ends of my trash down there Titter's like oh yeah onion I can get down on some onion. You can't eat no onion. You can have some chicken though. It is pretty cold out here today. There's a wind. I don't I didn't check to see what the temperature was, but I can tell you that my nose is running. <laughs> Alright. Chop the onion up. Adding that to my bowl here. got the onion all chopped up and then I next I always add the lime just over my onions sorry that I keep sniffing my nose is running a little bit out here <laughs> it's cold all right onion or lime and onion down next I'm going to do the cilantro, if it doesn't all blow away. Alright, 
I'm gonna give that a quick mix so the wind doesn't blow it away. Not the finest chop, Joe, but that's okay. All right, next I'm gonna do the tomato. Get rid of the stem. Fire is still going. Oh, yeah, it's going. <laughs> Woo, just about stabbed myself. That wouldn't be good. the tomato. All right, that's my pico all ready to go. All right, I got to warm my hands up after that for the next next round to get the cooking going, but my fire's going pretty good, so cold. I think that's good. Next, we're going to start on the, I'm going to cook the chicken and the mushrooms, and the Diablo sauce will be last. So we'll get started on that. All right, I'm going to start by cutting up the mushrooms, and then these are going to get sauteed with the chicken. So I'm going to start on that, because the weather looks like it's starting to change, so it's supposed to snow later today and tonight. So anyways, let's get started on that. I think... I think I'm gonna turn. Boop, boop, boop. Do, 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 do. That should work. I think you can see that. All right, I'm gonna start by chopping the mushrooms up, just cleaning some of the dirt off them if they have any dirt. And I have really small taco shells, so I'm gonna try to cut these up a little smaller. Probably good because it's just me eating this and I don't need to make a huge huge pile so done with these got that the next thing is going to be getting the chicken cooking got to get my chicken out all right I got my chicken all cut up because I didn't want to touch a bunch of chicken while I was out here so I'm gonna start with the chicken, getting that going first. I don't want to move, give you a camera angle here in a minute once I get this, this thing going here. All right, we got flame. All right. So I'm gonna get this cast iron pretty hot, and then this recipe calls for a lot of butter. So if you're on a diet, 
Might not want to eat it. I'm going to start by sauteing the chicken. And a good chunk of butter. Gonna go ahead and use this spoon. sun was out a little bit when I got here and I'm like oh wow it's beautiful and I quickly made a fire and, and now the clouds are rolling in all right chicken so I this is a boneless skinless chicken breast I chopped it up nice and small since my tortillas are pretty small Go ahead and turn that down a little bit. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and add my mushroom to this now. I get this chicken all the way done because I like overcooked chicken. I'm going to throw the lid on and keep that heat in there for a second. That's looking pretty good. Alright, I think I'm gonna switch up to a different spoon here. All that one I'm done with.
All right, this chicken's looking pretty good to me. I'm gonna add a, I go ahead and turn, turn this off. Whew. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. Give that a little mix. All right, I'm gonna throw the lid on this to keep that warm. I'm gonna run over and go warm my hands up again. I think that's good. Let's start on the Diablo sauce. All right, now the Diablo sauce that I'm gonna make is going to take the rest of this butter. Usually it's a whole stick of butter when you do this recipe, but I kind of split it up since I'm not making as much. And then you got, it's about timing and you gotta cook it fast. And I haven't made this recipe in a while. So I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping it's gonna turn out. It's super hot, but the super secret hot sauce if you like hot sauce this is a great hot sauce it's a habanero pepper sauce organic and it man it's the best i've found anyway so i'm gonna add that and then i also got i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you what i'm putting into it right now because when i do it it's all gonna be timing and i'm gonna do it fast so this is tomato paste with a little bit of ketchup mixed in and this recipe that i'm making is from one of the my favorite uh, Mexican restaurants that I grew up going to when I was a kid and over the years I've got to be friends with some of them and I kind of got bits and pieces of the recipe so anyway so then I'm going to do garlic powder a lot of that we're doing red chili flakes quite a bit of that a little bit of chili powder I haven't always added that but we're going to try it this time and that'll be it so let's get going All right, first we gotta get the pan going. All right, and I need to chop my butter up because I need it to melt fairly even, evenly when I get it in there. Right, here goes all the butter. Yeah. And the trick to this recipe is getting the butter to like almost a burning point right right at when it's gonna burn and even if it does burn it still gives it a good flavor it's kind of a smoky smoky flavor for the sauce try to get all this butter to melt evenly before I start adding the spices. It's 
just about there. All right, I'd say that's good. All right, here goes. Here goes the quick, the quick stuff. Let's get it. Got to get it almost to a burn. And then I will be adding the garlic powder first. What that little chunk is, we'll just get rid of that. And it's tricky because if you add the spices too soon and it doesn't get that good blackened smoky flavor. But then if you burn it too long, you get the opposite. I mean, it'll, it'll still be good. Just gotta wait for it to start turning colors here. All right, it's a good, good right there. I think I'm gonna go for it. Lots of garlic powder. Lots of chili flakes. I should have taken the lid off that. Chili flakes. All right, it's already making me choke. Oh man, it smells good. I'm gonna add a little bit. Chili powder. Quickie, go, go, go. Ah, oh, don't let it stick. Don't burn. All right, now I gotta add in the tomato paste as quick as I can. It's getting bubbly. All right. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my burner off. Just keep letting this stir. All right, this smells really, really good. I think I got a good one this time. It's different, it really tastes different every time you make it because it's just really a timing and how much spice you add. I'll give you a good view of that. Woo, it looks pretty good, all right. Now at this point, your sauce is done. I'm gonna go back over to the chicken, and it's still hot. I'm gonna dump the chicken and the mushrooms into the sauce. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a mix. Stir it up and get the chicken and the sauce. it looks pretty good it smells really good it smells like it should so all right next thing tortillas so I'm gonna go ahead and put a lid on this try to keep it warm and then I'm gonna cook some tortillas over here in the chicken pan I think I'm gonna wipe it out with a paper towel all right I'm gonna get my tortillas going and I'm gonna use chicken pan for that I forgot to add in some of this I was going so fast in my sauce but I can just put that on top I'm gonna do that and I forgot to give tater a piece of chicken before it got too hot so she's not very happy about that are you you're not happy about your piece of chicken she's like yeah I'm not eating that hot sauce not happening all right let's get going on the tortillas and then we can try this out have any butter left so still have to do do what we can do while those are heating up I'm gonna cut some of this avocado up hopefully it's a good one I don't know 
I usually do pretty good at picking them out, but I don't know this one. We'll see. Oh, it doesn't feel too bad. Ah, looks pretty good. see my breath. <laughs> That's how cold it is. Woo there we go. Just heat them up on this pan. All right. I think my t tortillas are good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off again. Get this made up and try it. Right. Tortillas. Oh, this. Sauce turned out pretty good. back on there so it doesn't get too cold. Now I'm going to add, move this over so you guys can see it. I'm going to add some of the pico I made. Can't find my extra spoon. Must have got rid of that already. Guess I'll just use this. This is a super oily, oily recipe here. It's probably going to run down my chin, which I'll have to edit out later. <laughs> All right. I'm going to add some of this avocado. That one's super oily. It's gonna be drippy. All right, and the hot sauce. Just because I wanna hate my stomach later. All right, looks pretty good. Let's sit down by the fire and have a bite. left of the fire. I know I didn't give you a piece of chicken. I know I'll have to give you a, a tortilla. How about that? She's like I think I'm getting cold. Yeah. All right taters we gotta try this out. She's like yeah I didn't get my piece. All right this looks so good. My hands will be freezing but my mouth will be burning off. Tuck it up or I'm gonna have sauce all over me. Mmm. Mm -mm. I know, it's not fair. It turned out really, really, really good. It's like you make it when you're out camping and food's always better.
I hope you guys enjoyed my first cooking video. I kind of, I really like doing it. I think I'll do more in the future. I've got quite a few recipes that I like that I've just kind of made over the years. So, anyways, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe, and I'm going to get more, more videos out with Tater, of course. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.